Good morning. It is the last day of the cruise and I have to do the thing that no one wants to do on vacation. And that's go to guest services. My channel members will know what this is all about, but off to guest services on the last day. So I was go. gifted a complimentary massage due to an inconvenience with my cabin. Check out uh, the first video on this series to see exactly what the issue was. All right, so after my complimentary massage, I came out to the Lido and it's actually warm still. Yay, it hasn't got cold yet. So here chilling the Serenity Deck, probably the best Serenity Deck I've seen on Carnival Sleep. So yes, Carnival, we need this on the bigger ships. Let's get this kind of concept on some other ships too because it's well spread out. Nobody's fighting over chairs and you also are still connected to what's going on down for the main deck. So I like it. So again, this was a Super Bowl sailing and all throughout Super Bowl Sunday, Carnival had a variety of activities, starting with this Super Bowl trivia. Here were the trivia winners. They had, I think like 21 out of 25 questions correct. And throughout the day, people started emerging in their favorite team's gear. Ready, ready. <laughs> And this is why Carnival's a friendship. <laughs> I'm loving it already. Game hasn't started. We're still like two hours away from game time. And you can feel the energy in the building. I had to make one last stop at Bonsai Sushi to get one of my favorite beef dishes before getting deeply ingrained in all of the Super Bowl activities for the evening. Throughout a Super Bowl selling, there are several places that you can catch the game. The first being the theater, which will have some pre-game games. Then you can catch it in, um, they have a sports bar, the, the casino bar, as well as the Lido deck will play the big game. And what? Okay. So, whatever one of you has the most points at the end will be our winner. Okay. So, we're going to hand them off to you. Two points. Oh, oh we get a little knee band in there. I like it. I like it. All right, we got the one point going right now. Yes, we have the three point, and then we have the seven. No, no, we're going back, we're going back. Skybox Sports Bar. Also has all the lineups for the games. Alrighty, it's time for the big game. So we're going to head around the ship to see what all the action is like. So let's go over to the Lido deck to see what's happening over here. And I know it's going to be a little cold. Alrighty, so I'm here in the Havana bar. And they have some specials about the ship. They got a couple mixed drinks. And it looks like there's a deal on buckets of beer. Not too bad, so I think I'm going to head back there. Um, to at least start the game and hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Area here where Kachina is and Havana Bar. It's like an excess seating for the um, buffet. So you don't have to fight for any tables. It's usually a few open back here. I'm gonna enjoy my buffet dinner <laughs> back here in peace and not have to worry about fighting over a table. Bon appetit. <laughs> After having dinner, it was time to find the spot on the Lido deck where I would watch the game. I'm in my room. I'm in my room. In my room. Mind my business. And you know, Usher did something. Then Beyonce comes trucking along. Whole ass album. Girl. I'm back in rainy Charleston. So instead of taking the frenzy, I'm gonna rush down to the gangway to get off approach. I am leisurely sitting here having a cup of coffee. I um, think I'm gonna start moving around nine. See if that, you know, enhances my vacation experience. Keeps away some of the anxiety and anxiousness of everybody pushing and shoving, getting down the gangway just to go home. Um, I also got a day use hotel since my flight's not until five to kind of expand the vacation, relax a bit. So I'm looking forward to, you know, just taking it easy until it's back home and grinding again. Completely empty elevator. When you wait a little longer, it's about nine o'clock. Just 
me, my suitcase, and my runway. <laughs> I am loving this easy approach to getting off. I'll we'll definitely try it other times I don't have an early flight to catch. Alrighty, there are two sides here in Charleston. You go left if you are getting family pickup, limo, etc. If you want a carnival shuttle, it is a 40 minute wait. And you sit off to the right, left, right. I am heading off to the left. I decided to head off to the left to give me an Uber and get to my baby hotel. Yep, you heard that right. Since I had a 7 p.m. flight, I decided to do a hotel for the day. However, I had to get some brunch first. I will also say this is one of the joys of solo travel. I can move how I want to move and quickly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, here are the pickup lanes. I think I'm just gonna walk to a store and make that my pickup address, but there is one here. The pickup line there. And I guess there's an address associated with it. <laughs> I'd like to say, I edit my statement. The benefit of solo travel and light luggage. <laughs> only makes this possible okay okay the charleston food party does not stop here it looks like i'm gonna head over to the ruby sunshine which is not a bad walk from the port if anything my luggage is taking a beating but it looks like they have brunch so i'm gonna head over there before heading to my day use hotel yeah. hot honey chicken french toast what else the plan? great food great meat let's eat so i did day use uh, for I thought I was gonna be here for like nine to five, but I ended up um taking too long at brunch. But I tried it out, it was pretty seamless. I should have just took my butt to the airport though. But live and learn. Um, but I'm gonna at least get this nap in. <laughs> That's one thing I would not be able to do at the airport is be in these sheets with a TV in front of me. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And that wraps a wonderful trip on Carnival Sunshine. This is Steve C. Thanks for traveling with me. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.